In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to make a lawn. A lawn is oftentimes needed when we need to apply a disc of some sort to an auger plate to show uh, either uh, resistance or susceptibility. Uh, in this case, we're going to uh, do a, you can see here, novo bias and disc. And novobiosin is used to differentiate coagulase negative staphylococci. Uh, we're going to be using staph saprophyticus and staph epidermidis. So uh, to make a lawn, it really it's it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple process. Uh, I'm going to take basically I'm just going to touch. I've got staph saprophyticus here. I'm just going to touch it. Get my camera in focus here. Okay, I'm just simply going to put the organism onto the plate and then streak back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I have square that is you know should have organism evenly distributed onto it okay now I'll go ahead and repeat this with the uh, staphylococcus epidermidis So you just want to make sure that you don't get close to the other uh, the organism on the other side of the plate. Now another way you can do this, some people may use a sterile swab to pick up the organism and use that to place the organism and get it equally distributed on the uh, plate. Okay, so time now to go ahead and put on the uh, the disc. Now these discs usually come, let me get my camera back and focus here. Okay, so this is the Nova Biosyn disc and they oftentimes come with these little dispensers. But even though you have the dispenser, um, you're probably going to have to use a forceps uh, to grab the thing and then you know put it exactly where you want it. So I'm going to use it slowly, push it forward and get one there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right smack dab in the middle and just tap it down gently uh, right in the middle of the area that I inoculated. And since I have two organisms, it seems kind of obvious I would need two discs, one for each. Tap that. Okay, now this uh, plate is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and incubate it at 37 degrees for, well, basically for 24 hours.